Hi, I've got my hands on the latest lab version of CoCreate 17.0, and today I want to highlight the new ways of working with 2D profiles to create 3D designs faster than ever. What's really amazing is how easy, predictable, and fast it is to create and change profiles, leverage profiles from existing 2D drawings, and create 3D designs. Let's take a look at some of the best bits. One of the most important changes you'll see when working with 2D profiles are new interaction tools that build on the 2D Copilot capabilities. This dramatically reduces mouse travel and picks by providing new local intelligent 2D options and significantly raises design productivity. Throughout this demonstration, I'll be working directly with 2D profiles using on-the-fly dimensions, drag-and-drop techniques, and create 3D models by avoiding the more traditional co-create modeling user interface. So, as we won't need the more traditional UI, let's focus purely on the contents of the viewport. As I create profiles with CoCreate 17.0 using the 2D Copilot, at any time I can directly input precise values directly onto the profile's on-the-fly dimension, and the profile reflects that value instantly. Creating precise profiles has never been faster. I can also create the points of my profiles relative to other elements, like the rectangular profile using real-time dimensional feedback and local value input for precise relative coordinates. Creating tangential profile segments is also a lot easier in CoCreate 17.0, as now I can roughly sketch them and they will be automatically trimmed when I use them in a 3D operation. This release really expands the use of Microsoft-like drag-and-drop modification to 2D profiles that lots of you appreciate and are familiar with from the annotation module. It's a great way to directly reposition or change profiles. When working with multiple profiles, or leveraging existing geometry from 2D drawings, CoCreate 17.0 now highlights all closed profiles available, and I can select, deselect, or reselect those profiles by simply clicking inside the profiles. The machining commands intelligently trim any overlapping geometry, providing redline feedback so I know exactly what the resulting profiles look like. The selected profiles can be used for machining operations, or using the new direct push-pull capability. Working with just one work plane, multiple profiles, and the new direct push-pull option, I can quickly create the 3D model. Let's create the base and the brackets using this new method. When modifying profiles, I now get full 2D Copilot support, gaining all the capabilities of real-time position and dimension feedback, as well as identifying relative positions to surrounding geometry, like midpoints on lines, or perpendicular to a line. With CoCreate 17.0, I can interactively rotate lines with the 2D Copilot, snapping to specific relative positions such as perpendicular to a reference element. When working with circles, I can change the radius of a circle via drag and drop and also have the option to interactively reposition them, fully supported by 2D Copilot. For example, here I snap to the tangent of the two lines. As you've seen, I've been working directly with 2D profiles using on-the-fly dimensions, drag-and-drop techniques, auto-trimming, supported by 2D Copilot and avoiding the more traditional co-create modeling user interface. But I've also noticed that with the new tools on 2D Copilot, I'm no longer using construction geometry. Combine this with all the new ways of working with profiles, and I'm definitely a lot faster at creating 2D profiles, and ultimately, the 3D design. I've really enjoyed using the new capabilities for working with 2D profiles available in CoCreate 17.0. There's definitely a lot less mouse travel and fewer picks, and the new tools really accelerate working with 2D profiles. If I had to guess, I'd say I'm at least two to three times more productive than previous versions, increasing my productivity and leaving more time for product design. Look out for more CoCreate 17.0 sneak peeks over the coming months in CoCreate News. We're planning to release CoCreate 17.0 in spring of 2010, and there's a rich set of new capabilities and enhancements across the whole CoCreate product family, including CoCreate modeling, drafting, and model manager that we'll be introducing. Thanks for your time.